HCC's Art Department Gallery will soon feature the work of former HCC art student and 2002 Arts and Humanities Student of the Year, Leah Sarah Bassett. We caught up with Bassett at her home studio in Howard County, where she fondly recalled her time at the college. While I was at HCC, um, I took numerous different types of art classes. I did uh, dance, acting, um, voice, I was in some plays, I took photography, um, I took uh, a lot of life drawing classes. Um, James Adkins uh, was a huge influence to me over um, at HCC. Uh, I loved his nudes. He's a beautiful artist. And a few years after being in HCC, he ended up being one of my studio mates. Well, we didn't share a studio together, but at the same place. So that was really fun to have that carry on, um, that relationship. Much like her former instructor, Bassett gravitates to the human form as the subject for much of her artwork. I love the female form and nudes. Um, try to keep it tasteful, but uh, a lot of people can say it can be kind of dark. Um, I just like the frailty and also there's a mysteriousness to each painting, trying to let other people figure it out for themselves what that person is saying or what their story is. But often there's some kind of emotion to each painting that shows through. While she leaves her images open for interpretation, there's no denying that her artwork is emotionally charged. She finds inspiration all around. When I decide to start a new painting, um, it, it can be triggered by just a feeling or an experience that has just happened that um, inspires me. Sometimes it's a friend that inspires me and they just look beautiful in this light. Um, uh, sometimes I just go down to the bookstore and look through art magazines or art books. Other times I get inspiration because I just close my eyes to go to bed and I just see something and I have to write it down or try to keep it in mind. Transferring inspiration to canvas comes naturally to Bassett. She's found a technique that allows her subjects to have their own evolution. Creating the environment first and then almost building from there like who this character is coming from this mysterious environment. Most of the times you don't know where it is or um, it's a form like a kind of void that they're emerging from. Bassett will spend anywhere from two weeks to two years working on a piece. Some of her paintings, which line the walls of her home studio, have been with her for years and are still considered works in progress. For years, it was very, very difficult for me to part with any of my work. And it, it is really difficult to um, know this character for so long or see her every day and every day means something different sometimes to me or sometimes I go back and I keep messing around with the painting until it's perfect but I'm finally at a point in my life where I can give it, share it to, with the world rather than um, just keep holding on uh, to something that you are just so in love with and put a lot of time into. Bassett doesn't rely on art sales to make a living but her talents have led her into an artistically satisfying and lucrative career. Painting for me is my number one passion in life, um, my visual artwork. Um, I've been really lucky to find a great job as a career and that pays the bills, that is still something really, really fun and artistic, and that is makeup. And so I am a freelance makeup artist. I learned over the years I just had a really difficult time trying to paint for other people, trying to do commissions or uh, anything like that, and um, I just learned that I'm, I'm, I can be social with the makeup and um, also just be really passionate in my artwork and keep that for me and then share it with everyone the way that I want to share it in galleries. Ready to share her paintings with the world, Bassett began looking for exhibit space when she discovered the college's galleries during a visit to campus last year. Having not seen HCC's venues for quite some time, she was impressed by the new facilities. After connecting with HCC Art Gallery Director Becky Bafford, Bassett submitted her portfolio for consideration, and the rest is history. Going back to HCC to show my artwork, I'm really excited. Um, it's grown. It's such a beautiful space 
and it was always beautiful to begin with, but it's great to see how much um, they've done, and uh, I'm really happy to show my artwork there. For more information on upcoming exhibits in the HCC galleries, visit howardcc.edu slash galleries. To learn more about Leah Sarah Bassett and her work, visit leahsarahbassett.com.